Hey y'all, what's poppin'? It's Vlogmas Day 4, it's Vlogmas Day 4, uh-oh, uh-oh, welcome back to the channel. So you guys, I am so very excited about today's video because I have been wanting to do this for a couple of days once it hit my email um, and I said, you know what? Even though it is not a Christmas um, activity, this is a necessary activity that needs to be in my in my casa, in my house. You know what I mean? But before we get into the activity, number one, I woke up this morning to a ton of new subscribers. Like, y'all doing y'all big one for me, okay? Like, my father, father, you doing it. Okay, let me just say, can we just take a moment and thank Jesus Thank the Lord God for blessing me and keeping me and doing all of the grateful things that he, that he is just giving me. Okay. Thank you, Father. I love you. You know what I'm saying? You and me, us never part. Okay. And with that being said, your girl made her first commission from Amazon um, Associates, Miss Ma'am. Yes, honey. I just, I just made $4.69. Mm-hmm. Now, it may not be a lot to y'all, but it's a lot to me because I'm moving and elevating up, okay? Then I forgot to tell y'all, honey, your girl got approved to be on the Walmart Influencers bag, babe. So, and on Walmart, the video's about to start coming, okay? Because I'm about to start working, okay? Your girl got a job, okay? Like I told y'all, I've been doing the Amazon stuff, y'all. Amazon, I'm going to just tell you right now, I, this video is about to come out. I have to edit it. Um, because I was trying to do everything like vlogmas, but I am, I have some few vlogs that I did not put out that I want to put out. So they will be included in this vlogmas. Okay. But Amazon, Amazon, um, flex is a, is a nice little way to get some coins. I've done two runs. The second run took me out though. Okay. The second run had me go an hour away to go deliver some packages for a hundred dollars. Okay. Uh-uh. The gas, the, it wasn't even the gas because my car is good on gas. It was the time to get out there. Then it was dark. Okay. Y'all gonna see this vlog. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you just the only bad thing that I would say about the Amazon flex is that you don't know where you're going. You don't know where you going. You know where you're going to pick the packages up from. But I thought because I put in my zip code and I put that I'm willing to go 25 miles. I think it was 25 miles. I don't remember. I don't even think it was, I, I was that part was in there. I just put the areas that I wanted to work in. You know, I put, you know, the areas around me. You know what I'm saying? That was an hour drive, baby. An hour drive there, then an hour drive back. Okay? And baby, it was dark. Okay? Baby, I seen so many deer that I was scared. Okay? We was driving... When we was off the main road, some of the houses we had to get to, babe, it was like five minutes, ten minutes from the main roads and going down dirt roads and back roads. Baby, I saw fields. Baby, I was scared. And just imagine, we was it was dark. Okay? It get dark now. Just wait for that video. Okay? So that one, I don't know, maybe in the summertime, we, uh, I'm going I'm to stay, stay on payroll. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay with the app. I ain't going to discontinue myself from the app. Just maybe in the summertime, I might be a little more, you know, it might be a little bit more better. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Mm -mm. When I saw cornfields and darkness, baby, we were scared, okay? We was nervous, okay? And thank God we had the little lights. So we went um, we went and got one of those little lights, so like the security strobe lights to go on top of my car. Because pulling up to these people in the foot in the fields, baby, they was coming to the door. And I thought some of them people that came to the door had them things on them. And I was like, hey, 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 I'm Amazon. Amazon, I'm here. I got your package. Delivery, okay? That's just that on that. But anyways. But anyway, so tomorrow I am going to go sign up or I'm going to my orientation for Upshift. Upshift is uh, where you can pick up shifts at different places. Um, and so they tell you where you're going or whatever you can pick up. You know, they tell you how much is paid, how many hours it is. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to see that and see how I like it. And I'll let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Because we trying to, but God is just telling me, 
he don't need me in a regular nine to five. He needs me to do what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And he's still providing. Like, cause at first I was stressed out. I was like, girl, this stuff, this stuff, this stuff is building up. But God said, don't worry, babe. I got you. And stuff started getting paid off. Money just started flowing. Blessings start coming. People was like, hey, girl, I was thinking about you. Bow. Thank you. Blessings. So I appreciate the blessings. Okay. Okay. But anyways. Let's get into this this activity, okay? So this activity that we are about that I am about to do, I am um, on this whole healing journey. Okay, y'all know about the healing journey. You, if you guys have not seen my very first episode of Taking My Power Back podcast, my loves, go check it out. It is the first episode, and it's explaining about how I started the podcast. You know, I started the podcast because over a decade I have been carrying around trauma and pain and anxiety. And these last few months I have been getting my life all the way together. Okay. I've been, it's been making me feel, you know, just so beautiful inside, you know, and I'm at the point where I feel like I'm normal. And a long time I was just like, oh my God, I, I wonder what normal feels like. And I feel like this is, this is, this is as close to normal as normal is going to get. You know what I'm saying? Or not even that. Like, God's still going to be providing at the end of the day. But with that being said, I am doing, um, I am learning different ways of parenting because I am now a full-time aunt of my wonderful 13-year-old nephew, Aiden. Um, and, of course, with my other nephews when they're here. And I um, am doing, like, I... I'm involving all of my nephews and nieces and, you know, all of the people, all of my, my little babies that I influence. Um, just because I want to make sure they have open conversations with them and and making sure that they know about their boundaries and making sure that they feel comfortable enough to be able to come talk to me or if not me, talk to somebody and encouraging them to have these positive interactions with people. Um, so yeah. Why not make a family conversation jar? Okay. And so, um, my therapist, I was, you know, I just, my therapist is, just, they're, they're so great to me, you know, I, and yes, I said they, because I got multiple. Okay. Baby, I'm telling you, we're getting these generational curses off of me. Okay. Getting this generational trauma. I have multiple therapists and I go to, uh, I, I was doing therapy, uh, three times a week. Now I'm down to one time a week with one therapist, one time, uh, every, um, one time a week, every two weeks with my other therapist. Okay, I'm just saying, <laughs> don't knock it till you try it, baby, because it's working for me, okay? But anyways, so I am making a family conversation jar, and this conversation jar is encouraging family talks with this fun and insightful activity. And they have different questions I'm going to cut out. So the gray ones, these are questions for parents, right? And so if, say if Aiden pulls out a... Um, a parent slip and he could say, well, what beliefs gives you, give you strength? Or he'd be like, what, um, what was your first job? Did you like it? You know, it's not even like too tough. Like, you know, it's just like little things, you know, cause I don't want to be overbearing. You know what I mean? Now I, my friend, um, just jazzy. Yes. She, my friend, because <laughs> I feel like I'm, I feel like me and her like this. Okay. She had encouraged me to start doing the, um, conversations of what she does with her kids when they come in. If y'all haven't seen her channel, go subscribe to her channel. Just Jaggy. She's amazing. Okay. Anyways. Um, she tells her, talks to her kids when they come in from school and she asks them, Hey, what was the best part of your day? And what was the worst part of your day? You know, at first, they didn't like when I was asking them that. And they were like, I don't know his name. But then they started getting comfortable with it, right? So I want to go take it up a step up. You know what I mean? In case, like, one day they don't want to do this. Let's just, hey, let's grab us something from the, you know, and this could be, like, a dinner time thing. This can be a weekend time thing. I want to start doing them, um, like, at dinner time or whatever. And then, you know, you know, you know, just add in a little, a little, mm. So, um, it says strengthening family programs, ages seven to 17, but some of these I was reading and maybe you may can do like, um, you know, you may can do a little bit younger or add different questions for your younger children by asking them what's their favorite color, you know, adding little, um, cause this is just a starting point. You know, I'm just going to start this, but there's going to be other questions and we can have like tougher conversations or you know what I mean? Like have different jars, but we're going to start off with this one. 
Um, and so, um, like, okay, questions for everyone. Because I just did a few questions from the questions for parents. So, question for everyone. Um, tell, tell us about your favorite memory or who is your best friend and why? And what could you do to make the world a better place? You know, um, oh, if you had three wishes, what would it be? You know, and sometimes we do stuff like this anyways, but it's just a fun activity. Like, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it works, you know. You know, they be saying, Siobhan, you be doing too much, you know. They be like, girl, you crazy, you know. But I just think this is something just very, very, very exciting to do. So, and I'm going to twist it. You know, y'all know me. I'm extra. I got to put some twist on it. So, I have my jar here, right? And then I'm going to insert these flashcards in the corners or, or like around it like that, right? And tape it in there. Uh-oh. I want to have it like the white side, right? And then I'm going to take my little um, label maker and I'm going to make, I'm going to put the stickers on here. So that way it'll be like out there. You know what I'm saying? So let me get to, um, let me first get to making my, my, um, my label and I'm going to start cutting them out and then we're going to, I'm going to put, I'm going to come back to y'all when I put everything together. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so I'm cutting them out, but I'm watching Good Burger, the original, or the first one, I should say. We watched Good Burger 2, and it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. So, yeah, let me finish cutting these out, and then I'm going to come back to assemble, okay? Girl, not your boob eating a shirt. Y'all, just... Just bear with me, okay? Like, Lord have mercy. Okay, so I printed out my strips. And I made it. So I'm going to put it in here like so, like that. Right? And I'm going to just put a piece of tape to hold it. And place like that and I gotta put one in the bottom Okay, I know, fabulous. Okay, so I started to cut them out and I put the P on the back for the parent questions and I got all of those cut. So now I just need to finish cutting out the other ones and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, I got them all in there. And so what I was thinking after we run through all of these, um, we can make our own questions. So I think that is the end of the vlog, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Let me know in the comments below if y'all gonna do this for you guys' family and see how it works out. You know what I mean? I think it's a great idea. But I am about to get out of here, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye, y'all.